Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is so ironic because here I am talking about new holiday winter scents and I literally look like summer threw up on me. So I just posted my Bath & Body Works huge like winter scents, fall scents video. If you missed on that video, I will link it up here if you want to check it out. But today I'm reviewing Victoria's Secrets brand new winter slash holiday scents they had a lot of collections really really exciting collections i'm literally reviewing like their brand brand new collections specifically the brand new crystal collection that they just launched this is probably my favorite collection i'm just gonna say that right now they are so good but i also have a lot of their other new scents they have their untamed collection which i picked up a few things and i have a lot of thoughts about that and then just some other miscellaneous new fragrances that they came out with i also do have a few new pink scents so i have it all in this video and i'm very excited to share it with you guys but without further ado please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you have not already and let's get straight into this video before we start if I look a little different in this video, specifically a little bald, I definitely feel this way, but I had eyelash extensions and let's just say I got really, really tired of them. And I basically like took them out myself, which was red flag number one. I did like soak them in oil, so I was kind of doing it the right way in the beginning. And then I got so over it because some of them were so stubborn, they didn't want to come off. So I was literally plucking them out with my real eyelashes so i literally have like about five eyelashes on each eye like hanging on for dear life like i'm looking like easy ah. but if she has short eyelashes if you have any tips for how to grow out your eyelashes i'm desperate like please leave them in the comments i know castor oil is a thing i'm like allergic to castor oil i think because every time i put it on my eyes my eyes get super watery they burn they itch they're red so i'm not doing castor oil i'm kind of trying to do coconut oil i do want to do like natural methods though i know that they have like the grande lash and all of that that also burns my eyes if you have any like natural remedies for how to grow out your eyelashes please help a girl out but anyways now let's actually get started so i'm gonna just talk about the crystal collection i'm gonna get it out of the way because i'm sure a lot of you are probably most excited about that because it's their newest collection like they literally put it onto their floors i think like today the only thing that i didn't love about this collection is the fact that they didn't include velvet petals in the collection normally i feel like when they do like flankers or they come up with a new collection they always include velvet petals which is literally my favorite fragrance from their core line so i was really bummed out because knowing how much i loved all of these i can only imagine how good velvet petals would have been so i don't know if that's something that they're doing and maybe it's just not out yet i don't know let me know if you guys know anything about that but anyways let's start out with probably my favorite you guys are gonna see how much i love this fragrance this is pure seduction crystal let me start off by saying i hate pure seduction and i hate love spell i hate love spell more than i hate pure seduction but in my opinion i feel like they both are very similar smelling i'm talking about like their core line obviously but i have liked a lot of pure seduction flankers that they do because they kind of take out that screechiness and this pure seduction this smells nothing like pure seduction this is probably my all-time favorite scent that i have ever tried from victoria's secret like i'm not even joking this has to be number one well velvet petals the original as well and you know i'm not lying about that statement because i did not get one of this i didn't get two of this i got three <laughs> of this fragrance and i also got the matching lotion first of all their packaging for this collection is to die for like i'm obsessed with this packaging it's so pretty the crystal like look at this packaging it just makes you want it like it's so pink and girly and it literally smells exactly like what you think this would smell like you guys need to go smell this in store i fell in love literally the second that i sprayed this out oh my gosh if anybody tells me that this is not good i will fight you this is literally amazing if any of you have smelled this please let me know in the comments how you like it i swear i have not felt this way about a scent in a long time but this is so good i think this reminds me of a candy or some sort of like sweet candy that i had when i was a little because every time i spray this out it takes me back to like a really happy memory i just don't know what that memory is this is giving me kind of like a melon 
vibe like a really rich like melon candy type of scent even though there's no melon in here there's actually pear in here there is a ruby pear violet orchid pure seduction beams with crystal energy so i guess the star of the show would be that pear but for some reason to me it smells like melon i don't know let me know if you guys feel the same but it's also super super sweet and it's not too airy and fresh i feel like pure seduction the original is a very airy type of scent is not very dense and it's I, I just don't like it this one is it has more depth to it it's not just like your typical fruity scent it's like a fruity flora i would say mainly on the fruity vibe without being like a fresh fruity scent that will like disappear off your skin this lasts on your skin out of the entire collection of the crystal collection this is the strongest in my opinion but this one is probably like if i had to pick one my favorite clearly this is just like candy sugary fruit like but in just the best way that you can imagine that i literally don't know how to describe it this is a scent that you guys need to go and smell like i urge you you need to go and smell this scent as far as a lotion it basically smells exactly the same obviously to be completely honest i'm not like a huge diehard fan of their lotions the smell is good obviously it smells pretty much like this but i'm not a huge fan of the formula i don't feel like it's moisturizing it is nice to pair up with to kind of intensify the body mist but i always overspray with body mist anyway so i don't always feel like i need to buy the lotion this is the only one that i bought the lotion of you're not going to see any other lotions in this video the rest will be all body mist then the next scent in the collection look at how like this sparkles in the camera like this is so beautiful i'm obsessed with this collection i think this is literally like their best collection yet so as far as bare vanilla crystal and how it smells this is so good to be honest i feel like with most of bare vanilla's flankers like when they do a new collection and they have bare vanilla i feel like they all kind of smell very similar to bare vanilla i don't feel that way about all the other scents like they usually do a really good job of making the other ones different enough to where it's not the exact same scent as the original but i feel like with bare vanilla it always smells very similar to the original with the exception of bare vanilla untamed which i did not buy because literally i hated that scent but we will get to that in a second once we get to that collection as far as this this is literally kind of smells like this but like a vanilla version of this like take away the fruitiness of this and you get this i feel like bare vanilla the original is kind of more smoky and more like of that like cashmere it has like this woody smokiness to it this one i don't feel like it does this one is mainly just sweet like a straight up like vanilla but it's like a really sexy alluring mysterious type of vanilla it's kind of like a tiny bit musky i feel like this smells like if you took the original bare vanilla and you mix it with this which is so weird the pure seduction crystal scent because i feel like it kind of smells similar to that mixture but i really like this one as well this is radiant amber vanilla musk bare vanilla beams with crystal energy so i guess the added note that is kind of giving you like that sexiness really creamy this is super super creamy indulgent i wouldn't say that this is like straight up or gourmand because it doesn't smell like sugar cookies or something like that this is like a sexy vanilla scent i find this to be way sexier than the original bare vanilla and i feel like this lasts more than the original bare vanilla at least in my opinion it's a little bit stronger than that but it also has like a lot more to it that i really like about this one this one has just taken the cake i love this one so much more than the original i do have doubles of this one as well i tend to get backups like i feel like a lot of you will be like um why are you like buying so much for no reason i tend to get a lot of backups with like limited edition collections because victoria's secret likes to do this thing where they come out with something for like two months and then it disappears forever <laughs> so i feel like if you like anything from theirs it's really annoying because you either have to buy like 20 backups or you're gonna just run out of it and you're never gonna see it again unless you want to pay like $200 on Mercari for it but that's up to you. I got a lot of these with their like 5 for 38 sale that they were having. I believe right now like as I'm posting this video pretty much all their body mists are $7 so I feel like this would be the time to go and buy them. It's a little bit cheaper than the 5 for 38 and you're also not like forced to buy five of them like you could just buy a couple and pay like 14 bucks and you're done. And then the last one of the collection is Love Spell Crystal. I had really high hopes for this one as well because I liked the Pure Seduction so much. This one is so 
good as well. I did only get one of this one. Not because I don't like it. Because I really do. I feel like this one has the most of the original scent in it. Like, I feel like Pure Seduction doesn't have anything to do with Pure Seduction. Bare Vanilla does smell like Bare Vanilla, but it's a lot more hyped up. It's just better overall. And this one, I feel like it has that, like, fruitiness, sugary candy vibe. But it also smells a lot like Love Spell. But I feel like this is literally the most tolerable version of Love Spell that there is. It's so pretty and it's so fruity. This is Glowing Apricot Iridescent Woods Love Spell Beams with Crystal Energy. Very candy-like. Like, if you took the original Love Spell but you added more of, like, this candiness to it and a little bit more of depth to it. It's not as fresh and in your face as the original so i really really like this one the only reason why i didn't get doubles of this one is because this is i feel like the lightest of this whole collection it doesn't really stay on as much as the other ones do i would say as far as performance pure seduction is the best performance the strongest longest lasting then would be bare vanilla and then i would say it would be this one it's still strong enough but from these i would say this is definitely like the lightest and i don't really find this to be too far off from this one they don't really smell the same but i feel like this is like a toned down version of this one i just feel like this is a little bit watered down so you would have to like reapply a lot with this one so that's the only reason why i didn't get doubles of this one but i still really like this scent if i could recommend one out of this whole collection in my opinion it would be pure seduction but i also love bare vanilla as well it's just if i had to pick one i would say pure seduction crystal so now let's get into the untamed collection which is another brand new winter i think they came out in fall so like a fall slash winter collection but i feel like what i love most about the untamed collection is the freaking packaging like this packaging just makes me want to buy it it's giving me like forest vibes fairy vibes nature as you can tell i only have three of the untamed collection i have love spell untamed pure seduction untamed and velvet petals i do not have bare vanilla untamed and that is because i hated bare vanilla untamed i know that that is probably a really unpopular opinion because i know a lot of people loved that scent i love my vanilla scents sweet scents but that scent gave me a headache it is a strong scent it is a scent that lasts all day but i don't know what it is i was at the store i sprayed it on my shoulder and then i walked out in the store it kind of smelled okay to me and i almost bought it but thank god i didn't because as soon as i walked out of the store as soon as i went into my car it was like all i could smell it was so strong even just for me spraying it like a couple times on literally one shoulder it was just wafting to me and i hated the scent i don't know what it was it was just too much to my nose. I feel like it doesn't even smell like bare vanilla. It was a lot more intense, a lot more punchy. It almost smelled like it was like rancid, like bare vanilla had gone bad or something. I was even thinking that maybe it was like the tester that was bad. And so I did go back when I went back to Victoria's Secret and I re-smelled it thinking like maybe it was a bad tester or something, but no, it was just the scent. Something about it was really musky to me and I just did not love it. Let me know if any of you had that same experience with it. I feel like nobody did because I feel like so many people were hyping up the scent. It was just like a thick fragrance. I literally cannot describe it. Something in it just was not working with my nose. Next, I have Pure Seduction Untamed. I feel like the theme of this collection is basically they smell like... The original versions but like perfumey versions of the original versions they're a lot stronger they're more amped up they smell more expensive than the original versions and i'm telling you they smell like legit perfumes especially this one that i'm smelling right now it's dense it's kind of fruity there's like a musky aspect to it it's more sexy than the original like a, a million times more sexy i hate the original this is ripen berries okay now i just realized why i love the scent i love berry scents so i think that's why i'm loving this because of that berry fruity aspect it has violet leaves and then pure seduction in the wild it does open up with like this fruity blast in the beginning but then the violet leaves kind of give it like this kind of floral not too floral but more musky more mature mature in a good way more high-end version then next up i have love spell untamed so this one is just the same oh my god this one is so good it almost has like this vanilla scent 
but it's more perfumey again I feel like this whole collection, and I mean, even the look of these, it's more of like a sophisticated, more sexy and mature versions of the regular ones. Like, if the regular ones are like, girly girl, you know, probably for like, teenagers type of scent, these ones are more like, woman, like, sexy, mysterious, dark, alluring, seductive scents. Again, this has nothing to do with the original Love Spell. It is so much better. This is Forest Pear, Apricot Nectar, and Love Spell in the Wild. This one has that pear, but to be honest, I feel like the pear is kind of giving it like that blast of like sweetness, like almost like a vanilla scent. I don't really know how to describe it. Same with like the Apricot Nectar. And I feel like the Untamed Collection could literally probably pass as perfumes and they stay on like perfumes do. They have really good projection and staying power overall. So I really, really love those two so much. And the last one, this is Velvet Petals Untamed. I was most excited about this one because as I said, I love Velvet Petals and normally I love their flankers of this. I feel like this one is the most similar to Velvet Petals, but this has that cloud Baccarat Rouge. I feel like I literally say that in every single video about at least one fragrance because there's so many scents that are coming out from literally all kinds of different brands. Like I feel like every single brand is releasing a fragrance that smells like Baccarat Rouge or Cloud and this one is in that scent profile. I mean this scent is just so popularized now that I feel like everybody's searching for it. So companies are just like pushing and pushing and pushing this type of scent profile. So to me Velvet Petals Untamed smells like if you took the original velvet petals and you added in the stars from bath and body works and it like it kind of smells like in the stars and in the stars smells like that same vibe as cloud baccarat rouge you know that smell that we all know by now i don't think that there's a single person that doesn't know what that smells like because if you don't own the original you probably own at least some type of dupe that has come out there's literally millions at this point i would say my favorite of this collection would definitely be love spell which is so crazy because i absolutely despise the original love spell but this has nothing to do with it next up is pure seduction then velvet petals and lastly bare vanilla i hate bare vanilla untamed I really did not like okay, so it. The next so. collection, I'm not really sure what this collection is called, but I think these are inspired by like perfumes. So it's this collection right here. I only have two. These are the only two that I really like. The other two in this collection were Cherry Elixir, which I did not pick up. I didn't really like it. And then the other one is Floor Elixir, which reminded me a lot of Mon Paris from YSL. So I guess that would be a good dupe. And you guys know because of this strong patchouli in that perfume, I absolutely despise it. And considering the body mist was very similar, clearly I didn't like it. But these two, these are were amazing like these are so so good specifically this one but also this one this is rouge elixir these all have numbers so this is rouge elixir number two these actually like finally have realistic notes in the back because i feel like for these ones um like the pure seduction love spell velvet petals all of those they have like some weird sayings in the back and it's like half of them are notes but then half of them are freaking poems i think these are meant to be like basically perfume body sprays. This one is going to be for all of you sugary, sweet, almond, creamy, sweet lovers out there. Berry-like lovers out there. This has a little bit of everything, but all in the sweet category. There is red currant, almond creme, and absolute decadence. Does that just not sound so amazing? because it sounds amazing to me. It's unique, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's decadent, indulgent, sexy, it's so good. This is very true to the packaging because it's very much screaming the color red. It really does smell like an authentic perfume. If those notes sound like something that you like, I can assure you, you will love this scent. If you have like my similar scent taste, and I know that a lot of you do because you always tell me that you do, I think you will love this scent. It's so sweet. There's like a sugariness to it. It's kind of fruity because of the berries, 
but then the almond cream obviously gives it like this creamy more sweet sort of a scent and such a perfect body mist to pair up with so many perfumes because it'll just amp up any perfume and i did buy two of these as you can tell i'm really in love with this basically all the scents that i really really love i usually buy doubles of or in the case of pure seduction crystal i buy three of because i just can't get enough and i do go through body mists pretty quickly but literally with like one use of me using a body spray it'll literally be down like that much because <laughs> your girl goes ham and then the next one is berry elixir clearly i had to pick this up i mean can i say anymore that i love berries because i feel like i'm a broken record at this point this is so pretty as well this is berries basically it's berries but without smelling like a body spray this has notes of vanilla bourbon muddled berries and sensational high this is like a vanilla bourbon type of scent so it has that boozy like quality to it but not too much it has like a little bit of like this smokiness to it kind of reminds me of like bonfire bash that kind of like smoky woody vanilla scent it's very similar to vanilla bourbon from mix bar which i recently picked up obviously if you have vanilla and bourbon clearly vanilla is like more of like a juvenile scent or it can be it's not always super juvenile but when you add a bourbon to that it just sexifies basically the vanilla scent it, it gives it like this boozy just really good like mysterious darker type of scent it's very unique and this scent also has it and then it also has the berries with it as well so it's like take vanilla bourbon and mix berries and you get this scent or take bonfire bash sweet whiskey if you guys have tried any of those scents from bath and body works it's very similar to that type of scent but if you added berries, that's basically what this scent okay, is. Okay, then this collection, I don't know what these collections are called, clearly. This one is like a holiday collection, I guess. So it had like these very holiday-esque type of scents. I don't know if these are new scents, like if this is a new collection or not. This one that I picked up is Glowing Places. This is the only one that I really, really like. None of the other ones really like called to me. I think there was one, it was like pink, and I think it had like champagne in it. I'm not like the biggest fan of champagne scents there's some that i do really really love but that's not a note that i'm always like seeking out for I felt like that scent it was very sweet it reminded me a lot of pink sugar i think it was called cheers something i don't know and then i think that there was like a darker one with coconut in it and i don't like coconut so i didn't get that one but I did like this one. The notes are iced raspberry, bright bergamot, life of the party. I like the iced raspberry element. This one is again really pretty, kind of creamy. It has again like this perfumey quality to it. But it has like this duality of being creamy and fruity but also a tiny, tiny, tiny bit fresh. I feel like the dry down of this one is very, very reminiscent to a perfume that I own. I just can't pinpoint which one so if you guys can let me know but yeah i really like this one i don't really know how to describe it other than the fact that i really like it it's sweet it's fruity it's a little bit fresh so it's not like too deep and dark it has that like iced raspberry very sweet fruity quality but then that bright bergamot gives us like a little bit of freshness a little bit of like tartness tiny tiny bit but again very perfumey and very high-end smell right, then i have this which i totally did not expect to fall in love with because i feel like this was a collection that it's been out for a while, but I randomly just went and smelled it and I love it. I feel like I've described so many scents at this point. I don't even know how to describe this. This is Lost in a Daydream. This has notes of crisp apple, hazelnut woods, and autumn in the air. Basically, when I saw that crisp apple, I think that's why I never really gravitated towards this scent because I'm not into super fresh apple-y scents but this one does not smell like apple it's sexy like it's so sweet it's honestly not apple-y at all i feel like bath and body works is very notorious for making very realistic crisp apple sort of scents this one is not like a crisp apple freshly bitten apple like fresh apple type of scent at all if you didn't know that there was apple in here i don't think that that is a scent that you could ever pick out of this I literally just spray that directly into my eye. For some reason, it didn't burn, so I guess that's good. Anyways, I don't know if it's that hazelnut woods that is giving it like this 
sexy quality it's like a little bit tart but in the best way possible like i just don't know how to describe this scent it's like sweet tart it's like a sour patch kid you know it's like sweet but then sour it kind of gives you that vibe in this as well but it has like this sexy woody quality to it that's really really pretty so i highly recommend lost in a daydream and then i got this one this was like a super random buy but this is violet lily this one is 1000 percent a perfume that i own this is like the one that i'm like i don't know if i'm exactly feeling the scent i feel like i was feeling it when i was smelling it in store and then i got home and now i feel like i can smell like this very rosy type of scent in it it's giving me like really strong patchouli vibes but when i sprayed it in store and i was like smelling it all through like my ride home it smelled really good very very high end like it straight up smells like a perfume that i own i just don't know which one it is like i was trying to rack my brain literally the entire drive home trying to figure out which perfume this reminded me of because i swear i have this perfume in my collection it's better on the skin i'll admit that it's not as patchouli or rosy on the skin as it is just smelling this out the bottle it dries down to like a sweeter patchouli type of scent it's got depth to it it's not very like light or fresh super super high-end smelling i definitely own a perfume in my collection that smells exactly like this but i need to get to the bottom of which one it is unless you guys can help me out and tell me which one it is because i swear this smells like a break and then before i get into my pink fragrances the last victoria's secret scent i have is actually from their perfume body mist line like they have the perfumes of these this one is bombshell passion so if you've watched my previous victoria's secret hauls you probably know that i'm not a fan of the original bombshell to me personally it smells very cheap smelling and it just smells like a perfume gone bad i do own it in my collection i've owned it for a long time but i feel like every time i wear it it gives me a headache that's definitely a scent that i feel like i need to start mixing with some of my perfumes so that number one i get my use out of it because it's just sitting and collecting dust at the moment and number two maybe i can create like a better scent out of it if i mix it with the right perfume but i will say a lot of bombshells flankers don't smell anything like bombshells so this one specifically smells very very nice like really good this is bombshell passion so i feel like that name kind of implies that this kind of is deeper it's darker this does not smell like bombshell at all like not even a drop of bombshell in here it's like it's its own fragrance and this is straight up a perfume like smelling this out the bottle i would not be able to guess that this was not a perfume people have compared this to scents like the tresor midnight rose from lancome angel nova and then also carolina herrera very good girl which I don't really get in here because i included very good girl in my most hated perfumes video so clearly i hated that scent so this one does not really remind me of it otherwise i would hate this as well it does have like this rose patchouli type of scent in it but it's very bearable and very crowd pleasing like it's not polarizing at all like my nose definitely can get down with this scent this has notes of cassis peony and rose so as i said you do get that rose in here and you definitely do smell the rose which i think is why it's giving us like this kind of patchouli i feel like rose when done in this type of way gives it fragrances like kind of like a patchouli-esque type smell i made my fiance smell this and he really really liked it so it's a really good scent it's very sexy it's very pretty has nothing to do with bombshell so if you want like a very perfume type of body spray like you want a body spray that literally does not smell like body spray uh, at all it literally smells like a perfume a high-end perfume definitely get this body spray a perfect date night type of scent because of that like sexy seductive sensual quality that it has and now we can get into the pink scent so there's only three scents that i picked up from pink normally i don't really dabble with a lot of pink scents it's just every once in a while when a scent really piques my curiosity i will go over there so the first scent that i was really excited about when it first came out is basic vanilla i love vanilla scents obviously and i feel like pink does vanilla scents very nicely because where victoria's secrets does their vanilla scents more like sexy not so gourmand more like i guess floral vanillas or like perfumey vanillas i feel like pink makes them a lot more cozy more gourmand and just more like authentic vanilla at least that's just my opinion and that's exactly what i get out of basic vanilla basic vanilla is basically a vanilla scent 
but with spice to it. This kind of has like this cinnamony, almost like a pumpkin spice-esque element to it. I'm not totally in love with that element, but once it dries down, this does get more creamy and more like baked goods, very gourmand. This is toasted marshmallows and warm chai. So I guess what's giving it like that spice element is the warm chai. It's giving it like this very fall vibes type of smell, but it's very bearable even for somebody like me, especially that doesn't like cinnamon or pumpkin scents. I feel like overall the main reason why I wanted to try this scent is because of the toasted marshmallow because I'm in love with any marshmallow scent. So yeah, this is really, really good. I picked up the lotion in this. So that is basic vanilla. And then this one came out in the winter collection. First of all, I love the packaging of this I think it's so pretty so wintry has snowflakes all over it This like super pastel lavender is just so pretty like I swear this is like my favorite color in the world I need like a sweater or a shirt in this color. This is vanilla snow. So again Vanilla. I feel like from pink. I typically always buy any scent that they come out with that is vanilla scented I don't know if mine is broken because look at the sprayer you see how that sprays? Like it literally just spits. Like it doesn't even spray. This one is a little bit more cookie gourmand-esque. It kind of reminds me of like the crust of a cookie. Like if you're baking cookies and you know like your cookies will get like a little crust around them. Or if you burn them just a little bit and they get a little hard on the outside. I feel like this is what it reminds me of is like the crust of a cookie. Once it completely dries down. It does become very sugar cookie-esque. The notes in here are sugar cookie and cake sprinkles. I love those notes. Honestly, I was expecting this to be a lot more gourmand than it is, just going based off of those notes. But I swear that there is some sort of spice in here. Like this one, just like basic vanilla. It doesn't smell exactly like basic vanilla, but I will say they smell pretty similar because this one also has that like spice type element even though it's not stated at least in the notes i'm still not mad at it and i still think it's a beautiful scent and the more and more it dries down it gets more vanilla and creamy it's just like in that first initial spray you really get that like spice whatever type of spice that it has. In. And the very last scent that I have in this haul is Berry Glitz. So clearly the name drew me in because I love my berries. This is Pink Prosecco and Black Raspberry. This is a really pretty fruity but kind of tart sort of a fragrance. This is like very much everyday. It's not like sexy or anything. This is something you would spray on when you get freshly out of the shower. It's kind of fresh. It's fruity. It's sweet. It's a little tangy. It has that pink Prosecco. Kind of gives it like this vibrant, bubbly sort of scent to it. I wouldn't say this scent is like particularly special or exciting. But it's just like an okay everyday type of scent. I so. think that's it. I think when I started this video, it was light outside. And now it's dark. But that's also because of daylight saving. It is literally 5.30 right now. And it's almost dark outside. And that is just so depressing to me. I hate daylight savings. I like it in the summer because we get more daylight. But in the winter, it literally just sucks the life out of you. Anyways, please let me know if you have tried any of these collections. Which one is your favorite? Let me know anything that you want to let me know. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And turn your post notifications on. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!